I'm going to be talking about cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy, also known as CP, is where a disorder affects someone's ability to move with good balance and posture. It is a motor disability in your brain controlling the body. Cerebral means brain, palsy means muscle weakness according to Centers for Disease Control and Preve Prevention. You can get cerebral palsy by brain damage because of the lack of oxygen at birth, strokes, first year of brain development, and car accidents. According to Mayo Clinic, most of the brain damage happens at birth or before birth. Congenital cerebral palsy risk factor risk factors can be premature birth, low birth weight, multiple multiple birth births <laughs> like twins, triplets, or or like more babies than just triplets because of them most likely being born early and it can be infections too. One in every 323 children end up with cerebral palsy. Also four in 1000 births could get cerebral palsy. When you have cerebral palsy, you could end up also having hearing problems intellectual problems, seizures, and vision problems, speech, and changes in the spine. All this information in this paragraph is found on the website called Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The types of cerebral palsy, according to the National Institute of Neuro Neurological Disorders and Stroke website, can be spastic CP. This cerebral palsy is tight muscles and awkward movements. It can start walking later, like at four years old, and they would walk on tiptoes. Dyskinetic CP is slow, uncontrollable riding and jerking movements. You could also draw a lot. Atastic CP affects balance and depth perception. Mixed CP, um, like mixed types of CP, this type of cerebral palsy, the person can have two types in one. So like their muscles can be tight, like let's just say in the arms, but be loose in the legs. The treatments you could get is physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. Doctors also, also usually make you get Botox shots, surgery, maybe surgery to make it like liv livable in some cases, like it, if it will benefit you somehow. And a medicine called Vacofin. You could try to prevent, to prevent cerebral palsy by vaccines, taking care of yourself, prenatal care, child safety if, the, if they get it in childhood from a car accident or something. No alcohol, no drugs. And this information was found on the Mayo Clinic website. My testimony, my testimony with cerebral palsy is that I have sporadic CP kind. So, um, the cerebral palsy that I have makes my muscles tight on my right side, but and skinnier, and like skinnier than my left side. I always fall a lot. <laughs> I always have knee pain. I've done basically all the treatments you can do. One surgery helped not help me not walk 
like on my tippy toes because I used to be very bad with that. Um, Botox shots helped me start walking. I would have to do 16 sh shots all together, so eight shots in each leg. Um, and I was, and I was also in all the therapies to get me walking and talking and eating correctly, supposedly, because <laughs> I don't eat very good. <laughs> but, um, and um, I started walking and talking at four. I have a learning disability, but it could be worse. I just really have trouble comprehending something when I have to read and if it's a lot of information. So I would say my reading level is around eighth or ninth grade. All the treatments can possibly help all the treatments can possibly help improve your cerebral palsy in certain ways depending on how bad or how good you can have it. It isn't a full on cure though. You can end it out. Done.